Okay, now that you know synthesis, decomposition, and single replacement reactions, can identify them, can complete simple ones, and also figure out who's being oxidized or reduced, let me show you how to complete and balance these reactions. When Na and Cl combine to form a compound, the compound will contain sodium and it will contain chlorine. Now, according to the periodic table, Sodium has an ion charge of plus one, and chloride has an ion charge of minus one. And therefore, the formula of the compound they make is NaCl. That's a properly written formula. Once you have the formula written, then you balance it. One sodium, one sodium. Two chlorines, one chlorine. Put a two in front. But now we've got a fixed sodium. It is now a properly completed and balanced reaction. For the second one, where lithium and oxygen come together, well, two elements combine to form a compound. The compound will contain the two elements, lithium and oxygen. To write a proper formula, we don't look at this side. We go to the periodic table and look up their charges. The charge of lithium is plus one. The charge of oxide is minus two. And therefore, the properly written formula would be Li2O. 2 plus 1's to cancel out the minus 2. Now I know it says O2 on this side. That doesn't matter. Now what we're going to do is balance the reaction. One lithium, two lithiums, put a 2 there. Two oxygens, one oxygen, put a 2 there. But we have to change lithium to 2 times 2 is 4. Isn't that style in 4? This is now a properly completed and balanced synthesis reaction. If we're going to make the compound Fe3N2, that comes from the two elements Fe and N. Now, nitrogen is one of those diatomic molecules, Brinkelhoff, B-R-I-N-C-L-H-O and F. Since it's diatomic when it's not in a compound, we write it as N2. Do we do the same thing for iron? No. Iron is not diatomic. It's not a Brinkelhoff. I mean, it's not Brinkelhoffy. So now that we've got iron and nitrogen separated, right, elements form compounds, we balance it. One iron, three irons, put a three in front. Two nitrogens, two nitrogens. This is now a properly completed and balanced reaction. Decomposition works exactly the opposite way. You take a compound and break it up into the elements that it's made of. Potassium bromide can be broken down into potassium and bromine. But bromine being a Brinkelhoff, diatomic when it's not in the compound, is written as Br2. So we need to balance it. 1K, 1K, 1Br, 2Brs. 2Ks, 2Ks. It is now properly balanced decomposition reaction. Let me say this again. If you've got a diatomic molecule, bromine, iodine, nitrogen, chlorine, hydrogen, oxygen, or fluorine, Brinkelhoff, when it's not in a compound, it pairs up with another of its own kind with a nonpolar covalent bond to form a diatomic molecule. Copper oxide, when you decompose it, forms copper and oxygen. Now, is either one of these diatomic? Brinkle ha 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 off O2. One copper, one copper, one oxygen, two oxygens, two coppers, two coppers a properly completed and balanced decomposition reaction. Now, what compound do we have to decompose to form aluminum and oxygen? Well, the compound had to contain aluminum and oxygen. Now, we don't look at this side, da, 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 to write the formula. No, we look at the periodic table to find their charges. Aluminum has a charge of plus three, oxide has a charge of minus two. So to write a proper formula, Al2O3. And now we have a properly written formula for the compound that decomposed to make aluminum and oxygen. Two aluminums, one aluminum. Three oxygens, two oxygens. Okay, three times two is six. So two times three is six, and three times two is six. But that means aluminum's got four, so we have to change this aluminum to a four. And that's a properly balanced and completed decomposition reaction. In single replacement, a more active metal will kick out a less active metal, or in this case hydrogen, uh, out of the compound and take its place. K gives H the boot and takes its place. So K bonds with NO3 
and H will go off by itself. Now, let's get some proper formulas here. Potassium has a charge of plus 1, and nitrate has a charge of minus 1. So the formula is as you see it, KNO3. Hydrogen is a brinkle off. When it's by itself, it's diatomic. Now let's balance it. 1K, 1K, 1H, 2Hs. Two nitrates, one nitrate. What's that three? There's one nitrate. So we put a two in front to balance it, which means we need to put a two in front of the K as well. Properly balanced and completed, single replacement reaction. Magnesium will take aluminum's place. So magnesium and sulfate will get together. Hey, why don't you put SO4 or three? Well, see, aluminum is plus three and sulfate's minus two. That's why this formula is the way it is. Magnesium sulfate will have its own formula. Sulfate's minus two, but magnesium is plus two. So the formula for magnesium sulfate is MgSO4. Do not let the formula on the left side impact your formula writing on the right side. Only the elements are going to copy over. The formulas are dependent on the charges of the ions. So make sure you use the ion charge to write the formula. Now aluminum got kicked off by itself. Hey, why don't you write it as Al2? Because aluminum is not diatomic. It's not a Brinkelhoff. Brinkelhoffs are non-metals only. Aluminum is metal. doesn't qualify. One magnesium, one magnesium, two aluminums, one aluminum. Three sulfates, one sulfate. What's that for? There's one sulfate. So we put a three in front to balance it. Three magnesiums, three magnesiums, you are now balanced. Now to make these as products, originally the copper was by itself and the silver was in the compound. So we're going to start off with copper by itself because copper took silver's place and the silver was together with the C2H3O2, the acetate ion. Silver has a charge of plus one. Acetate has a charge of minus one. And so that's the formula, AgC2H3O2. Let's balance it. One copper, one copper. One silver, one silver. One acetate, two acetates. So we put a two in front to balance it. That means we gotta fix silver by putting a two in front of that. Now it's completely finished and balanced. And that's how you complete and balance redox reactions. Make sure that the elements on both sides are the same elements. Make sure any formulas you write are based on the ion charges and not the formulas on the other side.